welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm double streaming, so I'm gonna be like this, 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 but I wanna come on and say hello, and we just finished Art Party with our lovely crew there, and I wanted to show you some of the pieces we did for the American Craft Exposition, which is one of, um, it's my first time being in the show, so I'm really excited, and I made some really fun kind of really different pieces that I don't usually do, so I thought I would kind of show you a little bit about them. Oh already pulled some things down because they're gone now, but I've been doing a lot of really fun new pieces. And I've been doing all these new, for this I kind of did something new. I've been doing these more bubbly chain pieces and then mixing it. First it started with these chain crochet pieces. I love crocheting with all the different chains. This one's like a lovely little ruffle pattern. You can see the little he dumped the helix happened in here. It was so fun. Yes. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Thursday, right? Happy rainy Thursday here in New York. Yes. Okay, so I did some of these chain pieces, more crochet pieces like this. I've been doing these over the summer, kind of more colorful, poppy, fun things, but... I've been trying out some new materials. I got some acrylic chain in. And what I love about this is that it's super light and huge, but you're actually able to be, it's hollow inside, so it's really, really light. So these are humongous in a great way. You know, who doesn't love big earrings? I love big earrings. So these ones I did on a sterling silver ear hook and then just playing with shapes I'm really I think I really every time I look at these I think about mylar balloons and uh, Jeff Koons and childhood and just playfulness and they feel great and they just they they give you such a pop I made these for my birthday last month and then I had such an amazing reaction from everybody that I did them that I put them up for our American Craft Exposition, our special collection. So this is up. American Craft Exposition runs from September 20th to September 26th. I'm very honored to be one of the featured artists this year. And we're also running a, a fundraiser as part of our this special collection called The Imaginarium. So 20% of sales will be going to We Wilt the Hammer, one of our favorite organizations, our friends uh, who support BIPOC metalsmiths in the Bay Area as well as North Carolina and in Africa as well. So it's just, it's, it's dear to my heart and we love uh, supporting them and being a part of the Marion Crafts Exposition to kind of bring all of these parts together. So let's play with a little bit of some let's play let's play dress up because I brought I I made like you know just a few earrings no but really like 25 million of them because I can't help myself I just had to make a bunch of different ones and different colors and different iterations hello welcome everybody thanks for being here so these ones I actually did some color I do not do a lot of color but I did this red necklace up there I'm obsessed with it you know maybe someone will get it maybe me it, it just, it, it for me, it's very Yayo Kusama-y. But the red earrings are for everybody. That the big woven ones, I've been doing a lot of weavings. So taking it, not just making, not just doing the chain, but then adding my NPR touch. My NPR touch is really all about weaving and finding these weave patterns and bringing a softness and a drape to the piece that I really like. This is really nice. These really, these really show up. Look at the spark. They have this lovely like jingle, jingle, jingle. They're all on 14 karat gold fill ear hooks. They're all super unique. I, I just made ones. It's, I'm sketching. I feel like I'm sketching with these chains and letting it, letting it go where it takes me. I'm playing with it. Hello, welcome. Look at this one, right? So these have this like dripping, wonderful. And they're totally asymmetrical. This cannot be replicated. So I made, you know, you gotta make them uh, a pair, but like a fraternal twin pair more. 
that nice? Okay, so I did a lot of gold, but I did bring you, I bring, I brought my silver girl some silver pieces. So, let's see. That's kind of the big, the big biggies. Although, ooh, ooh, there are some bigger pieces, some nice long ones. I love the long ones right now. I'm still in a summer mood, so I keep thinking long. You know, I know we're not there, right? We're still not there anymore. We're like fully, the coats are out. It's raining outside. It's time for hot apple cider. If, you, if you're if you my California friends, you're all, you're still in summer mode. But if you're, if you're in New York or on the East Coast, we are, it like September 2022 20, hit and it's like, boom, coat. The air has changed. Look at that, that so that's the, a silver mylar balloon inspired bubble and then this one is more a curb chain like a little curb gold curb chain but oh it just flows so nicely i really like this i like having options but you know a little something for everybody welcome everybody happy thursday i'm delaying we just finished art party and i'm showing you the special pieces we did for the american craft exposition which we're Honored to be one of the featured artists this year. It's my first time doing the show. It is virtual this year and not based in Chicago or at the Botanical Gardens, but we're doing it online. So I brought all the things to you so now everybody can see it um, and participate. So they have an amazing selection on their website. You can totally check them out. There's tons of amazing artists uh, of different genres as well, you know, not just jewelry, but uh, sculpture, clay, fiber wood glass okay i'm like trying both of them on for you okay i just found out the cutest trick for this uh for the long the super long earrings my friend just showed me this you can actually take them and take the bottom rung and then flip it on top and make this kind of more half size earring it's a little bit a little bit more funky a little sculptural a little bit more weaving feeling as well isn't that cute? Yeah, and then you get a half size. Oh, so very doable, very wearable. This is probably like, this is about three inch. The other ones are, these are long. These are um, almost seven inch. These are six inches. So, I mean, these are, these are quite long, but so fun. And I've been playing, they actually graduated from smaller to bigger in a really like very, very infinitesimal, minimal millimeters. But you know, I notice I put a little bubble up there. So this one also, even with the curb chain, it looks really tight in there. You can actually flip the bottom rung and it will still do that cool half, half size earring thing. We gotta try it on, right? I think I might wear them this way. I definitely need a pair. What pair should I get? I had the gold one like this. Totally sold out of it. Yep, they're all gone. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks for loving these. This is these I made such as a personal experiment for me, and they were my birthday earrings. And you guys have been loving on them, so I made you guys more and tons of cute mixed metal ones. I will show you this, although it just sold, but it is like the the next where I think we're gonna go with this iteration with some more chain weavings a little bit going a little bit more intricate a little bit crazier let's see here so i'm gonna flip this girl back and i'll show you some more pieces i'll show let's look at some mixed metals you guys can totally shout out if you want me to show anything also just show up in the in the chat there happy to show you guys things okay let's see here let's look at some mixed metals should we do big or small? Ooh, ooh, ooh. We have one big, big curb. These I love. Hi, hello, welcome. Isn't that cute? The big curb chain. These are very doable, like three inches on a 14 karat gold fill ear hook. I know, listen to that. So they look like they're really heavy, but they're acrylics. They're like a lucite, much lighter. They are hollow inside and really easy to wear. Hi, welcome. Thanks for being here, guys. This is very impromptu. I, I, 
I asked the American Craft Exposition if I should go live and they of course said yes. So here we are. How cute is this? Isn't that fun? These are like the shiniest gold. This is like not, this is totally a fun departure from our regular work. It's such a special collection. I titled this The Imaginarium. Um, the Imaginarium was one of my favorite stores. It is now defunct and no longer in business. And it was this awesome children's learning store slash toy store. I mean, like disguised as a toy store, really. So you really, it was really about creative thinking and, and developing your mind. And I think, I, I think it worked. I really, that was like my favorite place. You could buy books there. You could buy all these cool educational toys, but they had like the, they just had these little, little things that, like, like little delights that really uh, sparked your imagination. I remember I got my first magnet set there. Magnet sets. That is like the geekiest thing you could ever get in your stocking. But it was, it was something I really ended up being really just dis disappointed when I got it as a gift, but then enjoying it so much because it made me think about shape and play and putting things together. It was all these little magnets in different shapes and you had to play with the polarities and you could make little sculptures out of it. You could make, it was kind of like a fidget toy too, like an early fidget toy before we had, before that was even a thing. Um, and that was really cool. It was just a fun, fun thing. And these kind of feel like that too, like a little fidget toy. They have that little jingle, a little, a little tinkle when you uh, move around. That's fun. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, we won't be on here very long because it is getting late, but you know, happy Thursday. It's like Thursday, Thursday used to be like the going out night. Now it's the, we're still working late night, but you know, we had a really fun time at art party. We got to see all of our community there and we, we tried on tons of new things. We got to, to play a little bit of dress up. Oh, we played with some new pieces. Just finished this in our cable series. This is my like structural engineering really coming out in so many ways. This is such a fun piece with all these little, so many shapes in here. You know, so, so many shapes there. Look at that, right? Looks like a mess, but it's actually well thought out and it always falls back into place. I love that. Okay, let's try on a couple more. Ooh, I like the long ones and then some neck. Oh, I think I tried those on already. Some of the necklaces. Again, bringing in that crochet piece. Thank you. Oh, that's so sweet. Thanks, you guys. This is some of the that chain, but then bringing a little bit of texture to it and a little bit of uh, a, a textile quality to the piece. So this you can see has the chain underneath is the underpinnings. Then I'm crocheting with another, a miniaturized version of the chain onto the piece. So it's very meta, very architectural, very uh, sculptural in some ways. I love this. Then I used another version of the chain here. So, you know, scale is so fun to play with. I love super mini things or super humongous things. So, you know. Yes. Hi, welcome. Hello, my friends. Hi. I'm just saying hi to everybody. Hi, 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 hi. Thanks for being here. We're having fun doing a little try on, a little late night try on as we close the day, we close the week. Again, I'm here, we're doing, I'm showing some of the special pieces for the American Craft Exposition um, that's happening from September 20th to September 26th. And we're one of the featured artists and it's just a joy. So I brought you all these like fun special things. <laughs> Even brought you fun uh, scrunchies. You guys, we need scrunchies, right? But chain scrunchies. I like making things like ordinary objects, but thinking about them another way and flipping the script about, you know, what the material is, what's, what's it made out of? How does it feel? What's the weight of it? How does it drape on your body? Uh, these are all things that are come into consideration. Okay, I wear scrunchies a lot. They end up on my wrist a lot. They're basically a bracelet. 
I made a chain bracelet that's a scrunchie. So, you know, made me think a little bit. This is so fun. I like them all stacked together. They have a really nice weight and they're functional as a scrunchie. How fun is that? They actually work too. Although, I mean, I'm wearing like three scrunchies now, so not today. I got a lot of scrunchy act. I'm like Jojo Siwa here. Um, yes. So let's try on some red earrings. I didn't try any of these on. I was just showing these at the art party before and kind of like talking up about American Craft Exposition. But I did these. I don't do a lot of bright colors. Typically, I did bright colors here. Again, kind of hearkening back to childhood and thinking about those childhood toys. Um, I love the scrunchy bracelet too. Thank you. It's. I made a whole series of them. They're on the website. We're gonna see how they go, cause it's kind of a funky thing. But as I was saying before, you know, I like making, making things that you don't, you didn't know you needed, but I, I, I think you need it. I think you need to have it. It's too fun. Okay, so the red came up. I'm gonna do a little color thing. We did the red here. This is like my, this is still here, and I think it's gonna maybe eventually turn into mine. But this girl is so cute. She's a vintage, like, Yayo Kusama-inspired red chain. Hi. Hi. You guys, so good to see everybody. Hi. So this is a vintage chain I found, aluminum powder-coated with polka dots on one side and the red on the other side, which I thought was so cool. And, like, I... It's one of a kind. I... I would have me a hard time sourcing powder coated chain the way I like it and light enough because once I start crocheting in my double helix pattern around the oh it totally feels like coral I was thinking like DNA strands and then the crochet the actual effect of it looks like beading like very intricate beading work or it looks like um granulation on gold, if, you, if you're if you a metalsmith, if you're a super nerdy metalsmith, you know what I'm talking about. We do granulation on the gold where we add little dots of gold and it becomes this like aesthetic element and it's really beautiful. Um, hello, welcome you guys, so many friends here. Hi, late night Thursday, try on, woo, yes. Um, so this one is like, this is kind of where the red started. I'm a red, you can see in the studio, I decorate with white, black, gold, and there's always a little pop of red everywhere. Yeah, the density. You know, this is, because usually I make these very effervescent, light, airy pieces. So this, it's fun to go in and to push in this other scale and to think um, to be much, much more bold in a way. Uh, and I love that. Isn't that fun? Yeah, look at that. Right? Okay, so the red brought me to some red earrings. Just some uh, some specials. Some specials for the American Craft Exposition. So this is not, this is not, I don't know where this is going to go, but you know, if you don't make it, you never know. So putting it out there into the world, we're going to try this out. Um, thanks you guys. Thanks Vince. Oh my God. So sweet. Thanks sweetie. Okay. Ooh, a little day, you know, gotta have your dangles. So I did them on all different ear hooks and playing with, you know, the red. I, I definitely feel like red should come home with me too. <laughs> I cannot shop my own pieces. I cannot do that. They cannot come home with me. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Ashley. That's so sweet. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is so fun to see. It's like I get to see my friends um, without leaving the studio. Look at that. I mean, we all need red accessories. It's like power color. It's a good luck color. It's blood and life. So nice. So that's like a little, just a little pop of red here. A little touch of gold, a 14 karat gold fill here, and then this you get a lot more look. The curb chain is like really pops more, it has the flat plane and kind of lays more like a di on a diagonal. And then when you when it floats in the air, it kind of does a little bit of twisty thing and it, it does a wave, right? Okay, although 
I'm like, how will we stop? This might be too much. Oh, you know, I have an idea. Okay. I have a styling idea. Okay. We're going to do it. We're going to take this one. Because with the, like, if I was going to wear this necklace, I like the red and gold together. We could take the bottom of this little chain. This is only five down, five uh, ring rungs down, five chain links down. But flip this on here and then make it a little half size cutie pie, right? This is like the, my favorite trick with long earrings. If you're able to do it, play with it. If you're able to do the, if you're, if you're a long earring, it's like maybe like I need a little shorter version or you want to do an asymmetrical thing. Like I love, I love when you do one long, one short. So I'd have a, sh a long one over here with my hair, mm, you know, my side pony. So this would be a long one here and then a little shorty, shorty guy over here. I like that mismatch. It's really the same earring. Just how you style it, how you play with it. Always fun, right? Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna show you a couple more of my faves. Then I'm gonna go and say adieu, but thank you. Right, I don't have, for the people without the long neck, thank you, Ashley, agree. We don't, it's like, also sometimes you're like, what if your collar's different that day? Or you have like a more, a higher collar, or you're wearing a scarf, you need a shorter, or like maybe you have a more open neck sometime in the summer, so you're able to do the long drippy, or you're not gonna wear a necklace. It's good to have these options, right? I know, I love, well I'm like, I'm taller, so I love the long. Okay, let's see here. I have like people uh, already messaging me on the website, I can tell right now. We'll, we'll get to them in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna show you a couple. Ooh, this is another one I really liked. I really love scale. I love how scale is so important and just playing with that in a piece. These are just sweet. These are just, I think I would wear these a lot and they have a great look. These are on, ooh, I just tried on a lot of earrings. These are on sterling silver ear hooks. And then they scale down. A really cute shape. A really cute shape. I really need more materials if I want to make more of these because these are cute. Maybe not with this necklace though. I don't know. Too matchy match. Too matchy match. But cute, right? Yes. These are just great. I've been playing with a little bar, like the find, like different findings. So these have been some more, they're a hook, but they look kind of like a post. Cute, huh? Different. This is so, it's like sketching, jewelry sketching. That's what this feels like. Hi, 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 you guys. Hi, hi, hi. Oh my God, hi, friends. Hi, friends. Nice to see everybody. Okay, so that's, okay, these are just all the time. I could wear these all the time. They are shiny. You're so cute, Steven. Nice to see you. We're having a good time. We're doing a little try on. I'm gonna try on a couple more pieces and I have to go, but I wanted to make sure I showed you some of these special pieces that we did for the American Craft Exposition, of which I'm a, f a featured artist. Woo! And this is my first time, so I thought we made some special pieces, a middle special collection, and 20% of the uh, proceeds from this collection go towards We Wield the Hammer, our buddies that run a uh, metal smithing education program, and they're just dear to our hearts. So every purchase is, you know, part goes towards them. So I get to play and make some special things for you guys. Also, it's super fun. We need fun things. We need to play. As artists, we. It, it feeds us, it feeds our, it feeds us inside and it comes out in the pieces, I think. I hope you see that too. Let's see, a couple more. Oh, I did a couple, like really cute, like different ones. I'll just flash these up here. I won't try all of them on, but some different ones, different, different mixed metals, different uh, findings. So I've been playing, you know, post hooks, drop posts, drop hooks, what kind of, where can we go with this? What looks good together? Is it, is it more of a post thing? Is it more of a hook thing? What dictates that? You know, 
Design is fun. Design is fun to play with. Ooh, I did a couple clear. You know, obviously I do a lot of mixed metal. I love mixed metals. I do a lot of gold and silver. But it's good to have some, you know, variety. So we did some mix match. Kind of more... This clear. It almost looks like a frosted glass. But it's actually acrylic. So it's very light. I think this looks very elegant on. It's a very elegant color palette. Also... How much do I love asymmetry? I love asymmetry. I'm going to say, I feel like this whole, welcome to my TED talk. I love asymmetry. And I've just talked about it and how to wear all your earrings in different ways. Isn't that fun? Mm hmm Yeah. These are a great size. This is a great size too. I haven't tried these on. These work good. These look nice on. I think these are really nice neutral. Mm -hmm. yes. Asymmetry and miniature things. Stephen, you have got my number. It's like I was saying earlier, I like either like the smallest little mini thing. Okay, I love mini things. But all the ladies in my family, we like love little things. But hi, hi, you guys are so sweet. I love mini things. Or I want the scale to be maximalist. I'm like a minimalist and a maximalist all at the same time. I want to put all the things on me. But I also want everything to be like little things, so, you know, you just have to go with what you go with you will like and just, you know, sometimes it's intuition, but it's, you get, there's pure joy in it. I was saying earlier also, I think about jewelry in that it it is like something you want to almost eat. There's, yeah, the daily mini is my love language. That's a great one. At daily mini is like pure joy and all the like miniaturists that there's a whole there's a whole world of miniaturists on the internet you can really get sucked in and it is like why seeing cute little furniture is pure joy i don't know i think that's why i make jewelry jewelry is like so tiny and intricate and little and it mm, it's yummy oh the saying hi everybody hi 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 i'm on instagram and we're on facebook i did a dual thing i'm trying to do dual because I don't know let's try it out right but this is fun okay let's show these ones just sold but I did I think this is where we're gonna go with this series next so I'd love your opinions on what you think um, this is a super just taking the taking these ideas and pushing it further and bringing more of my NPR weave structures and more a little bit more complications mixed into all the pieces Yes, jewelry for your face. Yes. Jewelry for everything. Jewelry everywhere. Right? So this one became a little bit more, got that like more complicated. So I took this matte gold acrylic chain, then mix it with this smoky gray. Of course, she needed a matching earring because every girl needs a matching earring. If you're my girl, you know you need a matching earring. Um, so she got matching earrings. Fun, right? These have great shape too. The curb chain is so fun to play with. Yeah, this one turned out great. So I think I'm getting, I just started playing with this. I think what, as I get some more materials and start playing with this further, we're going to see a couple more of these ideas come out. I finished, it's all the acrylic here that I wove in, play with in and out together. But then... I, I finished it with metal just for a little stability on the back end here. There's some, and I used an aluminum metal chain so it's not heavy. I'm thinking a lot, like this looks like it's going to be super heavy, but it's not. It's really lightweight, has this little jingle. Isn't that fun? I love the scale of chain here. This is like humongous, humongous, right? Then there's little more little all these little parts there yes how fun is that okay well we have been on here i'm gonna head home now just want to say thank you for being to my ted talk about asymmetry appreciate you all and check out the american craft exposition it runs from september 20th to september 26th it's an amazing overview of american craft and we're honored to be part of it and we'll be back
next week. Next week we'll be on Art Party Central. I'll actually be hosting for them, so there's going to be an amazing group of artists there as well. So, I'm sure I'll have more for you. Thanks for being here. If you guys want to see anything more, you guys, you can DM or send a message on the website. Our chat is super active there. Um, happy Thursday. Bye, guys. Yes. I don't know how to finish all these different things at once. Okay. Have a great day. Thanks again.